Hi everyone and welcome to the Dodo Bird Nerd. It's me, the Dodo Bird Nerd, and in today's Pokemon video, I'm going to be doing my top 5 extinct animals that I want to see get Pokemon based on them in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get started. So one quick thing before we get started, that being that all works and images used will be in the description of the video. So how this is essentially going to work is that on one side of the screen, the animal that I think it could be, or more appropriately wanted to be, in the game, will be on one side of the screen, with an image of that. And then the other side of the screen will have a Pokemon that I think is the most likely representative to get that animal as either a regional form or an evolution in Legend of Arceus, as everything we've seen so far is seem to imply that the only new Pokemon will be regional forms or evolutions, and so I thought by showing the Pokemon that I think is most likely to get that treatment, it would help, I guess, make their video a bit more realistic, I guess would be the best way to put it, or at least be able to show my thoughts a bit better on what I think could potentially be the regional form for each of these potential new regional forms or Pokemon in Legends Arceus. So first up at number five, we have the Crested Shell Duck. And so while the evidence for the Crested Shell Duck was a bit conflicting on whether or not it was in Hokkaido or not, I know there was definitely consensus on that it was in Japan at least, but one thing said it was in Hokkaido and the other thing didn't really mention it. So I'm just going to assume it qualifies for at least being in the right area of the region uh, for Legends Arceus. But it is an extinct animal uh, that was native to Japan, and I think the most appropriate one would be Farfetch'd. Now, I'm not quite certain if Farfetch is in the Sinnoh Pokedex or not. However, we have received confirmation that not all of them are not going to be in the Sinnoh Dex, as Scyther is indeed in the Sinnoh Dex. And so, therefore, it could theoretically be any Pokemon that's even in the Sinnoh Dex could theoretically get a new regional form or evolution in this game. And so, Farfetch with a Crested Shell Duck is probably definitely the least likely in this video, as well as probably the one I want the least, because while it is extinct, it's not, like, super well known. <laughs> of an extinct animal, which partially could help it become more well-known, but also maybe not the most interesting of a design. The other ones are slightly more interesting in terms of design concept. And, you know, Farfetch'd already got a regional form in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and so I don't exactly know how likely it would be that we get two regional forms in the space of one generation. And so that's another point against it. And so that is number five, the Crested Shell Duck. So the number four spot in this video is going to be the Japanese sea lion. Now, while I've already mentioned its potential connection to Samurai in my extinct animal-based Pokemon series, I still think we could potentially get a regional form of Samurai that is somewhat more closely in terms of appearance to the Japanese sea lion than maybe it already is. And now, you might be wondering why Samurai specifically. Well, for the other two potential options that it could be, one of them I think better fits something else. One of them is another starter, so it's not going to be in the region, probably. And so that basically just leaves Samurott as being a potential candidate. And now, again, we haven't seen Duwat or Oshawa. Not, we've seen Oshawa, but Duwat or Samurott or any of the other ones for the other two starters. Any other evolutions, I mean. And so that has led people to think they might be getting regional forms. Something I definitely agree with, at least at the moment, because, you know, we still haven't seen anything. And so potentially a regional form of Samurott that more closely links itself to the Japanese sea lion could definitely be a possibility for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And so that is number four, the Japanese sea lion. So the number three spot in the video is going to be Stellar's Sea Cow. And now that is why Dugong could not have been for the Japanese sea lion is because, you know, I wanted to be for Stellar Sea Cow because I did mention it as potentially being one in my extinct animal based Pokemon series. However, it being directly based on it has kind of fallen out a bit out of favor with me, just because it's missing a lot that would be needed, but this would potentially be an opportunity to correct it and make it a much closer to Stellar Sea Cow. And now while at the time frame Legends Arceus is likely taking place, um, Stellar Sea Cow was not in the area around Hokkaido. Historically, back in the Pleistocene, it apparently was back in the area around Hokkaido. So it could definitely work as potentially being an ancient form of Dugong that is shown off in Legends Arceus. And we've already seen another Pokemon that was um, named after Stellar with the, um, well, not named, the Pokemon wasn't named after Stellar, but the Pokemon, the animal the Pokemon was based on was named after Stellar 
with the Sui and Braviary and the Stellar Sea Eagle. And so it's definitely a possibility for another Pokemon that has the Stellar's naming, another animal has the Stellar's naming, my bad, um, to get a Pokemon based on it. And I think a Dugong with Stellar Sea Cow is a definite possibility. And so that is number three, Stellar's Sea Cow. And so the number two spot in the video is going to be the Japanese River Otter. Hey, look who's back. It's Samurott. That's mainly because I'm pretty sure it's the only otter-based Pokemon, well, at least pre-evolutions are. And so Oshawott could lean more into a otter this time if it got a regional form than a sea lion than it has in the past. And so potentially we could get a Japanese River Otter instead of a Japanese sea lion as a potential final form of Samurott if it even gets one. And so, yeah, this basically the other option, I think, for the Samurott regional form would be the Japanese River Otter, which could potentially be more likely, as we already have other seal and sea lion Pokemon. And so going with an otter this time could potentially be a bit more different from at least its regional form, as well as just the other Pokemon that we could see, meaning it could be more different, therefore more likely to potentially be done. But that's just one possibility. And so that is number two, the Japanese River Otter. So at the number one spot for my top five extinct animals that I want to see get Pokemon based in them in Pokemon Legends Arceus, we have the Hokkaido Wolf. I know this must be a shocker to basically everyone, he says sarcastically, because I already mentioned something like this back in February, well, it may have been March, when I did the Lycanroc theory for um, Legends Arceus, and basically this is just piggybacking off of that, and so I have Dusk form Lycanroc here as it's my favorite Lycanroc form to show basically what it the Pokemon could be that it'd be based on, because I don't think they'd give it a form for each of the three times. I think it would just be one form of Lycanroc if it did get a regional form in this um in this region of Hisui. Um and in Legends Arceus, that's more closely based on the Hokkaido Wolf than more of a generic. I think it's generally based on the combination of the Hokkaido and Honshu Wolf, but potentially one that's more based on the Hokkaido Wolf could potentially show up in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And it's definitely probably the one I want the most. Just because, you know, I like or like in rock. And, you know, I made that theory about it and back in March. And so if it is true, I don't know. I'd feel good about my theory being correct. And so that is why in the number one spot we have Lycanroc potentially getting a form based on the Hokkaido Wolf. So what do you think of the top five extinct animals that I want to see get Pokemon based on them in Pokemon Legends Arceus? Let me know in the comments down below. Would you rather have different extinct animals get Pokemon based on them in Pokemon Legends Arceus? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that there are better Pokemon that fit each of the five that I mentioned in this video? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!